Hi, this is Karen, and today I've got a quick tutorial on how to add a voiceover in Final Cut Pro 10. It's really easy, so let's get started. I'm here in Final Cut Pro, and I have a clip already on my timeline. I'm going to go ahead and click on my clip, and one of the first things you want to make sure is before you add any narration is to place your playhead where you want the voiceover to begin. So let's go to the menu and window. I'm going to click on record voiceover and a dialog box pops up and as you can see it also has uh, opened up my advanced part as well. I'm connected to my Blue Yeti mic. I can increase or decrease the input gain of the mic here. I can monitor with headphones. It gives me a countdown before I begin recording the narration and a few other things here as well. So let's go ahead and start the narration. This is my 1976 Univex copy of a Rickenbacker 4001 bass, pre-lawsuit era. It's a stereo bass with toaster pickups, neck through version with a double truss rod. It's made in Japan, and you can see how the once colored, it was once cream colored binding has bled into the maple body. This is a decent playing guitar, and it's been a great guitar that I've had for 40 years. So there, I've made my narration, so let's go ahead and listen to that. This is my 1976 Univex copy of a Rickenbacker 4001 bass, pre-lawsuit era. It's a stereo bass with toaster pickups, neck through version with a double truss rod. It's made in Japan, and you can see how the once colored, it was once cream colored binding has bled into the maple body. This is a decent playing guitar, and it's been a great guitar that I've had for 40 years. So I can do a few things with the narration. I can let it go and just finalize my video. But Final Cut Pro has this effects panel here, and there are a lot of presets for audio, many different types of sounds and such. So. What I like to use is I like to use the bass enhancer since I think um, I have a thin voice. So I'm going to drop and drag that to the audio track. And you can see up here that I could, if I wanted to, I could increase or decrease the amount of the effect. I could change the volume and pan. I could also do additional equalization, some type of audio analysis. But honestly, for me, I think that the bass enhance would probably be enough. So let's go ahead and listen to it with the bass enhancer. This is my 1976 Univex copy of a Rickenbacker 4001 bass, pre-lawsuit era. It's a stereo bass with toaster pickups, neck through version with a double truss rod. It's made in Japan, and you can see how the once colored, it was once cream colored binding has bled into the maple body. This is a decent playing guitar, and it's been a great guitar that I've had for 40 years. There are a few more effects here that you might find helpful. Uh, specifically, there's a voiceover enhancement effect, and I'll go ahead and drop that. And let's see where we can see that. There we go. On the voiceover enhancement, they have some presets, punchy male voiceover, punchy female voiceover. You have the options for to change the compression, DS or channel EQ. Honest, for me and what I do, I think that the bass enhancer is plenty good. So I hope you found this video helpful and I wish you the best in your narration. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again. Bye.